Hi guys, welcome back. It's Jen from CourageCoach.wordpress.com and uh, it's the A to Z challenge, which is the letter S today. And what I'm going to talk about is the stakeholders exercise for the letter S. Last time we did a vlog, I was talking about life coaching. And so today I'm going to actually do a small demonstration of an actual coaching exercise or a coaching tool that can be used. This is something that can help create some motivation in your personal or professional life on a project that you might be working on and you've just kind of lost the motivation in what you're doing. Sometimes it's pretty common, it's, it's closer to burnout, but you're, you're going to save yourself before you re actually reach that step. And so what it is, it's about getting your motivation back um, on a project and you have to have a goal in mind. So I'm going to give an example and sometimes it's really important to think of the after before in coaching rather than the before and after. And I'll tell you why. And that's because in the present moment, you're thinking about something you want to do in the future. So if you think about the future and work backwards so that you know how what steps you need to take starting now, that's going to help you. And that's the way to think sometimes in order to create some type of vision or motivation in your life so that you can move forward and become unstuck. And so in this case, um, I'm going to use the example of let's say you're a health researcher and your ultimate goal is to find a cure for cancer. So that's an excellent uh, thing if we could all have that because I'm sure all of our lives have been touched somehow um, in the way of cancer. <clears throat> so that's the goal. Your project is to create a vaccine for that. And what I'm going to do is I have my lovely whiteboard here, but nobody here is allowed to judge me for my artwork. So I'm going to do a small demonstration using um, a visual on how your contribution can really make a difference in somebody's life and in all the lives, really. So let's say you're the health researcher, and that would mean you're the heart of it all. So you're kind of the person way down here at the base. Okay, that's a really bad part. Okay, so here we go. That's the base of the tree, the tree trunk. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to make it a bit thicker. Here we go, these markers. Okay, this is the base. You are the foundation of this project and you have a lot of other people that can help you on it. You're not the only one. So always remember that in your own life and in your work as well. It's not just you and you can always reach out for help and count on other people. Okay, so who are you going to contact besides working on this in your own lab? It's going to be the pharmaceutical company. So the pharm pharmaceutical company is actually getting a little bit higher up. So here we are. They are the ones that are really climbing the tree. And they are um, going to be doing some research with you and carrying out some of those lab experiments to see what's going on and maybe get the point across um, to other pharmaceutical companies. Okay, and after we get towards, you know, the pharmaceutical companies, we also need to contact somebody once we get some, some type of news. So we're going to contact the doctors and the healthcare professionals. So those people are the branches. So let's just do a few branches coming out of the tree. This is really uh, quite the artwork here. All right, so there we have the the branches okay so those are the doctors and the healthcare professionals are little branches off these branches so we, we're creating a huge positive ripple effect here by getting this now that is going to create a lot of motivation because these people are going to help you and sort of carry out what you've been working on all along these are clinical trials that happen sometimes in cancer research Okay, so we can see that what you're doing here, it's already getting really big, and we've only covered three areas so far. Okay, and then the biggest stakeholders of all is the patient. So the patient is the, the one who's probably going to benefit the most out of everything. And those people are going to be 
off every single branch here, adding more and more positive ripple effects. Okay, we get the idea. Our artwork is really quite something. Okay, so then it doesn't even end there. So those patients have families and the families are really gonna be so happy with all your work because their family member is going to be cured, hopefully, of a cancer. And so the families, are we're going to represent them with the leaves. So we're going to use this orange marker and make some leaves here. I know this is really bad, but bear with me here. Hang in there. It's painful, I know. Okay, so there's all the families um, benefiting because of all the work you're doing. Let's think really big now. Okay, so local communities and even international. Now it's getting out, it's on the news. Your positive impact is creating huge ripple effects now. It's everywhere. So now we're looking at the treetops of, these, of this big tree and it's getting bigger and bigger. There it is. Okay, so this is probably the most colorful tree you've ever seen. But you can see here that it's getting to be a huge impact. So what you're doing is excellent. Everything you do really counts, okay? So always remember that. The ultimate goal is the cure. And those, I would say, would be the fruits of your labor. So let's draw some fruit on the tree. We have purple matching my top, and these are just little fruits, you know, all over. Maybe they're little plums or stuff like that. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, hopefully. These are the little fruits. Now the thing about fruit is usually there's a seed inside. So what's nice about that is that you can plant those seeds, and then you create more cures for more cancers. So it, it just keeps going on and on. It doesn't even stop there. Now, because you've been working so hard on this project, I know you've been burning the midnight oil, and I know you guys are night owls. So we can't forget to include our friend, the night owl, in our tree of life. So let's put him somewhere. So right here, we'll do a little circle and make his little eyes and his nose. I'm not sure he's a, he's a very good at night owl, but he's certainly pretty cute. Okay. So let's not even end it there. I'm gonna make sure you can see this, okay. So, sorry. Um, imagine after everything you've done and you have this cure for cancer, Take yourself and look at yourself through the eyes of these stakeholders. Every single color here represents a stakeholder in all of the work that you're doing. So imagine you're the patient and you're looking at yourself and noticing what, you're, what you just did and what do you see? What's happening? What are, you, what are you doing? And how has this affected you and how has it affected other people? And the other thing is that what are people saying about you now that you've done all this work? And what are people even saying about your contribution to it all? And how does that even make you feel? So obviously this would make you feel amazing and happy. But I think the other thing that's really nice about this is that it's going to help you feel love. And maybe you love for your work again. Love for the patients. Love for... Um, making progress. There's so many reasons to have the love in what you do and you don't always need to have it on the outside. It's always inside of you and that's where all the answers are as well and that's what coaches help bring out are the answers that are always inside of you. So I think what's important here is to notice that the moral of this story is that everything you do counts. I know I said that before but it really does and Everything, one small shift in whatever you're doing, it can really change everything. So overall, 
try to have some uh, motivation in your, what it is you want to do. If you are not having that motivation, coaches can always help. And I just want to say, keep going, you guys. You're doing really awesome. And if uh, there's anything you want to ask me, go ahead. I'm always uh, willing to answer questions. So have an awesome day. That's it for the stakeholders exercise. I hope you liked it. And uh, keep burning the midnight oil, all you night owls. So we'll talk to you later on. Bye.